you will be drafted. A lot of people are thinking about that right now, right? One thing I want you to think about is all these people that's on social media that has the Ukrainian flag up around their profile picture or they're all the time supporting what we're doing for Ukraine over there that we're sending all these weapons and money and helping Ukraine try to win this war. Ask yourself, what are they going to do if they get drafted or their kids get drafted? Are they still going to support this war? See, they're okay with it as long as it's not our our family, our friends over there getting shot and killed, right? They're okay with just pumping money, weapons, whatever they need over there to keep fighting this war. But they're scared to death that the draft's going to start, right? I guarantee those flags would come down real quick on their profile pictures. They'll turn against this war, you know? You know me, I don't think we should even be over it. It's none of our business. Let them do what they're going to do over it. We need to quit being the world's police force, plain and simple. It's not our job to go solve every country's problems. It's not. It's not our job to give them things to, to fight other people. It's not. Plain and simple, it's not. But all these people that support this, that, you know, they're flying the Ukraine flag on their profile pictures, that'll be totally different if a draft starts. You got a lot of people thinking they can't get drafted because, well, I smoke marijuana, I got a medical marijuana card, or I've got some form of disability as far as something mentally wrong with them, you know. All types of excuses, right? Guys, they would just wave that stuff. If they really needed a draft, they would wave that stuff. Honestly, they would. Or at the very least, let's say you have a medical marijuana card and they call you up, right? They'll just throw you somewhere for 30, 45 days, let you kind of get it out of your system, and then guess what? Send you off to boot camp. If they want you, they're going to get you. And a lot of people, you know, we shouldn't be over. I'm telling you right now, we should not be over. It's none of our business. It is none of our business what they're doing over does it directly affect us here in the United States as far as what goes on over there? Really no, because we we probably could, if we grew our own stuff here, we could take care of our own people, right? I noticed something the other day. This is a little off subject. Got some apple juice. It was product of Africa, and it was a dollar and something a bottle. How much would that be if it was made here? Just thought, let's get back on point here with this draft if they want you they're going they're going to draft you plain and simple you know it's up to you what you do if they draft you but thinking because you you got a medical marijuana card or because you've got you know something wrong with you guys it's, if they want you they're going to draft you it's plain and simple will they start a draft you got to remember i made a video a while back and i'll put it down here in the description about the selective service issue and a tweet about the draft you got to remember the government is in the long game not the short game here they want both but they're in it for the long game what they do is they'll give you a little information you'll think about it and then you forget about it right you don't you're like eh. and then all of a sudden they do what they said they were going to do a year or two ago in the back of your mind you're like wait a minute oh yeah i remember they said something about that you got to think about stuff like it. It's not a tenfold hat theory. You know, how many times have they come out and said something, and then months or a year or two later, it actually happens what they said. Guys, the draft, no need for it right now. No need for it right now. But what's going on over there, and I'm telling you, I feel we're going to be physically in this war by the end of the year or by spring at the latest. may be wrong on that. But everything is building up too much over there. We've got our chess pieces in. We've talked before the hardest thing for a military to do is to get their equipment into the combat zone. It's the hardest thing they can do. It, it takes a while to move that equipment. We already got our equipment over a lot of it, right? It's easier to go into a country when your stuff's already there. If we go in over there and the war breaks out, you got to remember what have they been screaming for the past three years, recruitment recruitment's down right enlistment's down in the military they've got to feel that somehow right they're going to call up the reserves that's probably not enough to fill what they need so eventually they probably will initiate the draft when i don't know it may be six months from now it may be a year or two years from now it depends on what goes on over there but you can you can see what's where we're headed over there 
you can you can see it you can see that we're going to wind up in this and all them people that's supporting this ukraine war right now you know they're they're, they're flying the flags on their profile pictures they're all for sending them money and guns and whatever weapons whatever they need they're all for sending it to them that will change immediately once we go into this war it'll change immediately and that's the way people are most most people will jump on a bandwagon as long as it's going and it doesn't really affect them right but as soon as it starts affecting them or someone in their family it changes their perception of things doesn't it you know exactly what i'm talking about you know it, it's it's cool to say you support the ukraine war you know that you're supporting their independence you're support but as soon as it comes time for you or little johnny or little susie to go over there that'll totally change your opinion on it we should not be over there it's none of our business what they're doing over there and some people are gonna say no we have to be over there because we agreed to this or that in 2014 or whatever we're not the world's police. We need to quit being the world's police. We have so much stuff going on here in the United States. We need to take care of our own people first. Our own people need taken care of. You always need to remember what did they fight over here and what are they giving Ukraine. They'll give Ukraine anything they want when it comes to money, right? During the pandemic, what did they? it took them months to get a U.S. citizen $600. Always remember that. They would fight over giving you $600 but they'll send billions and billions to Ukraine. You also got to ask yourself, what are they doing over there? What are they protecting? It's not got anything to do with spread of communism. See, that's the stuff you used to hear back in Vietnam. You know, that was the big thing. You stop it over there so you're not fighting communism here in the United States. That was the big thing, right? We need to stop it over there so it doesn't spread to the United States and communism take over here. Guys, it, it's it's BS. Plain and simple, it's BS. We should not be over there. If you disagree with me, that that's fine. I love to hear your opinion on it. If you disagree with me, and tell me why you think we should be over, why you think we should be sending billions of dollars over there, and do you think if we're sending money, do you think we should be sending troops over there? Because I mean, technically. Wouldn't that be about the same thing if you believe in what they're doing over there, that we should be over there defending them too? Or is it just okay that we're sending money? Because when I say that and you say, no, we shouldn't send troops, but we should send them money, you're the type of person that when we actually go over there, you won't be supporting this anymore. You won't. You won't support what's going on over there. You'll be like, we shouldn't be over there. Guys, this, you, you're going to get drafted. If they open a draft up, They'll draft whoever they want. You know, there won't be many deferments either. A lot of people think they're going to get deferred because, oh, I got a medical marijuana card. They'll just stick you somewhere for a month or two and then throw you in boot camp, plain and simple. They're also talking about drafting women. Got to remember that stuff. Guys, all this stuff is pre-planned. I know y'all hear me say that a lot, but if you actually sit down and look at everything that led up to this, it's all pre-planned. It's all pre-planned. You got to think. Now, this this is a tenfold hat theory for some of y'all that don't believe it's pre-planned. We refused Russia to start. We, we cut them off the sentence buying their ammo, right? You remember that? Yep, the cheap ammo everybody used to buy in the United States and stockpile. Oh, we're not importing that anymore. You can't. We're not. We're not buying it no more. What does Russia need for this war? Ammo. What does Ukraine need for this war? ammo a lot of the ammo was made in ukraine all this stuff was pre-planned they knew it was going to happen before it happened and people don't want to admit that whether you want to admit it or not everybody likes to think that putin's over here biden's over here Zelensky's over there and they don't ever talk or... bullshit they talk guys they talk look at how much stuff that's happened to russia over there you know, the bridge, the pipeline, the, the supposed assassination attempt, the air base that was hit. Now you had supposedly a nuclear base or something like it that got in. Russia's not responded. Come on. Ask yourself, what would the United States do if we were in war with Mexico? Russia was back in, back in Mexico and Mexico was hitting our power grids or hitting our stuff. 
what would we do? See, there's a bigger game at play here than we know about. Huge. Let me know your thoughts on this. Comment on this video. I hope a lot of people watch it, but they probably won't. If you're still watching at the 10 minute mark and you haven't subscribed and you're not going to subscribe, hit the thumbs down on your way out the door. Stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. Protect yourself and your family at all times. At that moment, you're the only person that can do it. Guys, you will be drafted. Trust me. If they start a draft, they'll draft whoever they want, right? Stay safe. Keep prepping. Comment on this video.